There you go. All right. We're set. All ready to go. Two minutes left. We will certainly <laughs> see what's going to happen. I'm going to be super tired. Like, this is going to be the worst commentary of anything ever. But the Microsoft conference and um, Xbox, I was actually really looking forward to this year. I think it's going to be really, really wild. Um, I'll be mostly quiet once I actually get started. I've actually turned down the stream audio a little bit for now. Um, simply just because the, the in intro music's super loud. But um, I will turn that up and I'll probably shut up a lot when we actually, or when they actually get started. Uh, right. So, so the predictions that I made on the podcast um, were about how uh, Doug Bowser was going to get up on stage at uh, the Microsoft conference to go and announce a partnership with Microsoft to deliver a whole bunch of Microsoft-owned IP onto Switch. I was joking, but I would actually not be surprised if that were to happen. Um, and it would be awesome if that happened, honestly. Like, who wants to, doesn't want to see Doug Bowser on stage at the Microsoft conference? That'd be a so, so good. Um, I, I also obviously predicted that they're going to announce something um, of a new console, which everybody didn't, didn't even take too serious on that, but I think that's exactly what's going to happen. They'll announce what they're doing next. It's this whole Scarlet thing they've been t um, teasing, so... We'll certainly see that come around, but with no early timer anymore, um, I will probably start shutting up in any second uh, to everybody's glee. <sighs> but yeah, I'm excited for this one. Yeah, it will be interesting to see what happens with Bethesda letter later because it will basically be like, how much of a train wreck will it be? But Microsoft. I think he's in it with a real chance to kind of steal the show at E3 this year. Oh, for a second there, I thought the music was fading. Ah, it is fading out. All right, I'm going to turn it up. history has ever shown us. Scheduled scarcity Out of is a premium feature of colonial life. The colony must never lose faith. That is what the board provides. Security in a senseless and chaotic world. Let's get the extra note. You can get your mixed up with other games, which isn't great. This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the galaxy. Proudly owned and operated by corporations. Everything we have, everything we are, we owe to them. 
they are always with us. No one has ever gone against them. But a stranger has just arrived. Someone who's challenging the corporate war. Someone who's digging up their secrets. Have you ever been at the wrong place at the wrong time? Someone who could be a villain or a hero. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Or a psychopath. Oh. Did you ever think you'd end up like this? My time to shine. I'm serious before this game. Good luck! I suppose time will tell, but no matter who this stranger chooses to be, the Halcyon Colony will never be the same. Yeah, I was right. I was right. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Oh, that sounds like it's gonna be super political with the whole capitalism is bad kind of thing. Like, I'm looking forward to that. Please welcome from Ninja Theory, Ronnie Tucker and Dom Matthews. At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios, a move that has given us oh, an incredible boost possible. in achieving the creative ambition of our teams. We've started work on a number of new games familiar. at the studio, and in the near future, we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. When we joined Xbox Game Studios, we already had a very exciting game several years in the making, and we're happy to return to E3 to share this with you. As creative director, I'm stoked to be here to share our new game with you guys. It combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat and competitive team multiplayer. Our technical alpha is kicking off in just a couple of weeks, and we'd love for you to sign up, get involved, and tell us what you think. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. I New really... <laughs> I really hope you guys like it. Check it out. Sounds like a New this Zealand is Bleeding Edge. World premiere. They immediately like it looks over or over the esque. That looks cool though. Like it's it's a nearly overwatch, which is a neat idea. I like have a dog in the background now, which is nice. God, this game's pretty. 
has no right to be as pretty as he is. I need to play the actual first one and finish it. That's awesome. Please welcome the head of Xbox, Phil that's, Spencer. That's Master Chief. <laughs> no, not Phil Spencer. Voice over Master Chief. No, he could be. Who knows? I'm back to speak for a minute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We on Team Xbox live for this exact moment. The moment we get to share the best of our art form here with you in LA. Ah, that's a second old shit. And the moment you get to experience breathtaking new stories new worlds oh, like and subtitles. new heroes That's nice. for nice the touch. very first time. This moment isn't just about finding some new games, it's about discovering your new games. This decisive moment of discovery is etched in your gaming history, alongside your every achievement, your every moment, your every new friend. This is why we on Team Xbox are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover and love. So whether you're one of the thousands with us here in Microsoft Theater, or one of the billions around the world who play games, welcome to E3 2019. This right now is the single most creative and energizing time in gaming history. Which we've been seeing, we've just seen games. Games and, and gamers awesome. together 
like, now have yeah. the sheer yeah, magnitude so to be a significant unifying force for the world. The expanding universe of gaming has opened a new era of creative possibility. With more games, more creators, and more industry players than ever before. And gamers were everywhere. In under two decades, the number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. And with new technological leaps, we get to play whatever we want, with whomever we want, and wherever we want. On Team Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. My team and I are single-minded in our resolve to bring everyone the games they want, to connect everyone to play with the friends they want, and to empower everyone to play wherever they want. This is building up to a Stadia-esque thing. That's what it sounds like. This is why we keep innovating hardware and services. It's why we're uniting communities through crossplay, and why, it's why we're investing with new distinctive creators. Above all, gaming is for you. <clears throat> this is why we scour the world for your next new games. This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage, anywhere this year. Today, from the thousands of games in development across Xbox One and Windows PC, we're highlighting 60 games for you. Cool. Including 14 games from Xbox Game Studios and over 30 games premiering wow. in Xbox Game Pass. That's an impressive stuff. In addition to showcasing all of these games over the show, we'll also announce What's next at Xbox Game Studios? Sharing our expansive plans for streaming, and of course, revealing more about our next new console. Yep, hold it. So thank you for joining us today. Let's jump in. Save thieves? No. The water effects kind of look sea of thieves ish. Oh, it's still baby sea of thieves, yep. Might save this. Ready to do this? Oh, this is cool. Hey! Who are you? Got a name? Cal Kestis. Saw Guerrero. I'm here on Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. A Jedi. Stop them. That's the plan. The Jedi are not yet lost. Hope is not yet lost. That's got major goosebumps. That was really cool. That's an excellent trailer. Yeah, I'm okay. You all right? No, we are not doing that again. <laughs> wow, that's not far off. World premiere. Peter Shannon, 
uh, died at one point, went missing on Saturday. You've got to be kidding. This afternoon, the authorities are organizing a search in the Black Hills forest. Okay, Bullet. Let's find this kid. Okay, maybe it's not what I think. Wait up, Bullet! Bullet! Alone in the darkish vibes. Blair Witch? It's a Blair Witch symbol, right? My god, it is! Huh! That looks really cool! CD Projekt Red, oh, okay. Everyone's gonna go nuts for this one. I'm seriously looking forward to this. The studio's kind of messing up their messaging, but like, I'm a sucker for cyberpunk. My man, you made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip? All right, start her up, bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up. We gonna be with you in a minute. Wow, oh, come on, man. Your neck, it's a mess. While hotel security has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. Woo That's what I'm talking about! Alright! In and out! We're rich! Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jack! Right. <laughs> Jack? Oh, oh sh No, 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 no. Okay, oh. get to a clinic. Now. Mr. Wells condition is critical. Go! Immediate medical help okay. is required. Just, just hold on. Just... Hey, hey, just think about all the good shit that we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. Decks. Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this tension, damn it. Cool trailer. 
Oh, look at this game you've been playing though. Wake the f up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Oh, what? That's all I'm saying. Is that Keanu Reeves up on stage? Please welcome Keanu Reeves. Fucking hell. That is amazing. <laughs> oh, Keanu, so awesome. How's it going? <laughs> Hello, Los Angeles. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good amazing. to see you. Thank I you. I love it. All right. All right. I got to talk to you about something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got to talk to you about something. CD Project Red. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077. All right, a while back, the guys from CD Projekt Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. They were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited by. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. Yeah. <laughs> Cyberpunk. <laughs> uh, he's a character. It's set him. in a metropolis of the future, where body <laughs> modification has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's having a great time with this. Okay, but let me tell you, <laughs> the feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. All right, all right, all right. So I guess I got to finish this, so tell me. <laughs> Do you guys want to know? Um, when there's uh, when it, the release date. Yeah. yeah. All right. Then check this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm hilarious. Whoa, hey, easy. Mr. Hansen, am I right for the job? Okay, I'm in. You have gone through to the other side. Let's do this. Wow, mid next year. That's fairly early. Awesome. Oh, that was great. That was really funny. World premiere.
Okay, that's a cool idea. I was gonna say, like, is this like delivering souls to the afterlife? Yep. That sounds like that's basically the idea of it, except it's super cute. <laughs> Okay, that sound is not good. Right, but it's kind of neat. All the in game just really fantastic art style. I can't actually read the logo. That's my only problem with it. I couldn't actually tell you what that game was called. This egg drive looks so good. Bunch of different games. Really cool stuff. Please welcome head of Xbox partnerships, Sarah Bond. Building up the master chief. Like having him voice over building it up. All the ID at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox Game Pass day one. At Xbox, our passion is to help you find and play the games that you love through creation, curation, and discovery. 
The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels the globe, seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems, and crafts partnerships with their creators so that you can discover your next favorite game. Mind-blowing experiences, epic adventures, and iconic characters, all for you to explore. It has been awesome to see the record-breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Since launch, we have tripled the number of partners in Game Pass, adding more games from more genres, platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. We are thrilled to announce new titles coming to Xbox Game Pass on console today, including Batman Arkham Knight, Metro Exodus, wow. <laughs> Hollow Knight, and Borderlands The Handsome Collection. Wow, oh, that's impressive. Metro Exodus. Amazing that's games good, that you good, can start epic. playing today. That's interesting. Our mission at Xbox is for you to be able to play any game with anyone, anywhere. And we know for many of you that means PC. That is why <laughs> last month we announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. <laughs> Today, the Game Pass journey on PC begins. Now, PC players can discover their next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. We have curated over 100 games just for PC, including favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. Wow, those are also really recent. And for the first time on PC, starting with Halo Reach, the entire Master Chief Collection. Awesome. I mean, I can kind of expect that. But is that out today? Woo! We are thrilled to share that Xbox Game Pass for PC launches in open beta today. Whenever you're ready. Got sweat drip dripping down my temples So this power is something fundamental though I can feel the hum and the rush of the crowd I can hear the claps and the noise getting loud What you gonna do when the block runs Oh wow, Gears 5 is on there time is I have to play it still I need to play that too. There's a bunch of good games I need to play. <laughs> That's why I, I got the game pass really early on. Are you game? Well, this month, really early on. Xbox Game Pass for PC is here now. Try it out by downloading the all new Xbox app on Windows. And. If you want it all, we have created a membership just for you. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. You get everything. Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great games. Xbox Live Gold, an unrivaled gaming community. And now, Xbox Game Pass for PC at no additional charge. Oh, okay. I mean, that's great if you play on console as well. And because it's E3, everyone can jump in and play today for one dollar. 
Now go discover your next favorite game. World Premiere. It's very quiet. It's very quiet. Exceptionally pretty looking. Flight suit. Oh my god, it is a fucking flight suit. It's gonna be a uh, flight simulator. Like, literally, the flight simulator. Looks gorgeous. simulators have no right to be that pretty. That is amazingly pretty. I, I don't think I've seen a game that pretty in like ever. It's just amazingly pretty. I mean, other Do you than remember a time when armies were built and powerful cities collapsed? When the smallest of choices echoed through the pages of history? It was an age of empires. Oh, this is the remaster thing. Ah, oh, those graphics are super pretty, but missing with one. It's like, it's just on the edge of being super nostalgic, and it looks really high definition, so it's throwing me off. I, I thought they were going to announce another new Age of Empires. That'd be amazing if they did. Razors? I see you at a donkey's age. Welcome to beautiful Colorado. Home to the Purple Mountains Mastigy of the Rockies. Hike through colorful canyons. Get up close and personal with a wild and woolly wild ice. Sample home cooked delicacies. Eat where the locals eat. Visit Colorado Springs. There's so much to see and do in this post-apocalyptic winter wonderland. Meet new people. Make new friends. Colorado has colorful characters and friendly faces everywhere you look. See our beautiful airport. And don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty souvenir. So don't be shy. Colorado's waiting for you. <laughs> first round's on me. Uh, first round's on, on you. Oh, Wasteland 3. Nice. Please welcome. Head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Booty. <laughs> Matt Booty, though. Uh, that's not an original joke. It's probably being made all the time. Games are at the heart of our mission. Over the last year, we added seven new game development studios to Xbox. <laughs> it's fantastic to see some of these studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage, and there's more to come. I have the privilege of working with some of the best studios around the globe. And for me, great studios are about people, 
teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing, creating great games that players love. And great games come from great developers. That's why I'm honored today to announce that joining Xbox Studios is Double Fine Productions. Holy shit. I, told, I was thinking of this now with the fucking shirt earlier. That is a really good grab by Microsoft. Double Fine has been a beacon of creativity and spirit in game development don't for almost up, 20 Microsoft. years with classic Please games like Psychonauts, Brutal Legend, and Broken Age. I'm looking forward to Double Fine joining Xbox and seeing what we create together. Please join me in welcoming the founder and president of Double Fine Productions, Tim Schaefer. Oh. It's been a long time since Tim Schaefer was up on stage at E3. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much, and thank you, Matt. We are so excited to be joining Xbox Game Studios, and I'm here to personally reassure you, Matt, I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Whatever <laughs> you need from Double Fine, we'll make for you. Uh, Halo stuff, uh, Forza stuff, Excel stuff, whatever you want, we are there. <laughs> yeah. Tim, we just want you to make great games. Oh, that's such a relief, because I was totally lying. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you dare. I love Tim Schafer. He's a real chill guy in person as well. My name is Raz. And today is my first official day on the job. We're on a mission. Rasputin? I'm on him. Looking for me? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Mia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Roboto. I put the old egg in the box in the basket in the basket. <laughs> No! I won't tell! I won't tell anyone! I promise! No! Please! Ah! Art style fantastic. Especially the sprites. Like on the, on the uh, damage effects and everything. It's really nice. World Premiere. Star Wars game world premiere. That's a Lego Star Wars game world Okay. Interesting that they're calling it that. Interesting. Bring Jane World Universe to life. Hey, <laughs> 
It looks really good. <clears throat> I've always really wanted a um, good Dragon Ball game. I've never been a huge fan of the show, but like, it's just a cool idea. Come World on. premiere. I have a surprise for you. Okay. <laughs> you want to guess what it is? Hmm. This is an outfit for a newborn. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. You know? I know because you already gave it to me. This has happened before. What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. Why are you doing this? My father died, died of a heart attack? No, I... I I didn't have anything to do with... Any second now, he's going to knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? <clears throat> we have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything. We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door right now. You know me. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop! No! You're under arrest! No. Hey! You're home. What are you doing? Are you okay? So cool. That's really cool. I love it. Yes. i 
scared of me? Why do you care for me? When we all fall asleep, where do we go? Oh, it's an expansion. From the Coalition, please welcome studio head Rod Ferguson. I mean, I'm, I'm sure if I played the most recent game, they'd probably mean a lot more to me as a team. It was a neat people. Thanks, everyone. We're excited to announce that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. And if you want to play four days early, you can with our Ultimate Edition or membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. With Gears of War 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. And we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, join us for our Versus Multiplayer Tech Test, where you'll be one of the first to play our all-new competitive game type, Arcade. In August, at Gamescom, go hands-on with the all-new Horde mode and see how character abilities can turn the tide on the battlefield. In September, we return to the biggest Gears campaign ever, where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our launch on September 10th. But what are we talking about today? Today, it's a brand new way to fight the swarm. In Escape, you play as one of three Hive Busters. You and your squad infiltrate the hive, plant the bomb, and escape with your life. Because we all know the best defense is a good offense. It's everything you love about Gears turned up to 11. Interesting stage effects. Everything except the need for revenge. This might look like a surrender, but it's not. It's an invasion.
You know, interesting looking game mode. I'm confused. Is Gabe is five out or not? I hope right. you enjoyed your taste of escape. An aggressive three-player co-op not. experience, perfect for your living room couch. Soon. Why? But it's not just about busting high. Confusing messaging. You can build them too and challenge your friends with the experiences you create. And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge these three WWE superstars, Xavier Woods, AJ Styles, and Tyler Breeze, to survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the hive. For these of you at home, for the next two days, you and your friends can play in select Microsoft stores. So good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboards. Oh, and for anyone who pre-orders or plays within the first week, we've got something special just for you. The trailer was neat, but yeah, be interested a bit more. Terminator game? That was definitely a Terminator. No, it's part of this. Still part of Gears 5. That was confusing. It looked like a Terminator. That's definitely Terminator. Just in Gears now. What? I'm confused. I'm really confused. <laughs> I guess it's like a character pack or something. Ah, uh, it's just Forza. Go on, it's it's all. Oh no, it's you control. Oh, that looked like Forza. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's being all sexy. I mean, it is being all sexy. I've still got, I've got my older Xbox control, which is perfectly fine. When my father saved my life, he told me never to forget who I am, where I come from. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is deadly. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. That the virus cool. tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. Staying alive became the essence of our existence, yet life must be more than just survival. Every day, the disease tries to crush us and make us forget who we are, but I keep fighting. My name is Aiden, and I am infected. Huh? Neat idea. Huh. I like that. That's a, that's a neat story concept. World premiere. That's what. They were going to get a car on stage. 
<laughs> That's gonna be a pain in the ass to get a car on stage. That's a really fun match. Sorry, I like it. That is really cool. <laughs> Everything is awesome. Hey, boys. Please welcome Ralph Let's Fulton. Let's out. Combine McLaren's passion for design with about half a million of LEGO's legendary bricks, you get this incredible life-size LEGO Speed Champions McLaren Senna. <laughs> Combine the beauty and freedom of Horizon with the playful fun of LEGO, you get the Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions expansion. You will drive this Senna and more LEGO Speed Champions cars in an entirely new world, packed I didn't realize that was with a inventive car. new yeah, challenges, new areas to explore, and loads of bricks to smash. The Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions expansion launches this week. I'll see you there. Yeah, I, I, I like that concept. I think it's a really cute kind of matchup. Ugh, no. Okay, sort of out the next couple of minutes. That's just, it's dumb. I don't like it. <laughs> Thank God it's over. I've not actually played Save the Decay yet, too, yet. I love the first one though. My mission, find the father I never knew. My mission, find a hero I've never met. He hasn't radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last time I heard his voice. The last place he was seen was in Trumbull Valley. I've only heard whispers. I've only heard legend. Of unseen horrors. Here, we are the many. Here, we can become stronger. For so long, I was just surviving. Now people are counting on me. This is where my story could end. This is where my story could begin. I thought we had seen everything. We ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, 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 
Madrid. I guess it's on Game Pass if I want to play it. World Premiere. Like, I'm sure that there's somebody out there that's super excited about that. I'm, I, I'm Those not Those of person. you who have played Fantasy Star know that this game had influenced many of the most popular games today. So with great delight, we welcome Sega back to our stage and Fantasy Star back on Xbox. As we said, our goal on Team Xbox is to bring you the world's best games. Meeting with developers, playing their games, and introducing you to their games, these are the best parts of my job. Back at E3 2017, when I first met with the creators of this next game, they shared their ambition to bring their massively popular game with its passionate community of 650 million PC players to the entire world. I'm happy to announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach to game design demonstrates sheer creative boldness. Next year, you'll discover the newest entry in this landmark franchise. On console, for the very first time, only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. World premiere. I'm certainly talking it up. I don't think I've actually heard of Smilegate.
a bizarre trailer. I have no idea what's going on. I'm confused. Is it a first person shooter? I I don't understand. I'm just confused. It look it's neat. Bizarre though, like World Premiere. said pretty a lot, but it is very pretty. There's something about the, the Japanese games, they're just like a mashup of, of modern and fantasy. It's really interesting. It's probably not my game. I, I Maybe Christian goes nuts about that. It's not mine though. It does look good, though. There are three. six sirens in the universe. I used to be one of them. My name is Lilith, and I need you. Or is this the Borderlands 2 free DLC? Followers demand we join or die. We've got another proposal for them. better trailer than the previous one. That looks really good. And it's this year. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, what we, we do with this? Premiere. Yeah. 
Yeah. <clears throat> this is the thing that we heard rumored. So, it's a Dark Souls esque thing. I doubt you could even imagine it. Which commanded the stars, giving life its fullest brilliance. The Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. Shattered by someone or something. Don't tell me. You don't see it. Look up at the sky. It burns. The, the thing we heard rumored going around. It's not telling us much, though. It's a lot of interesting imagery, but... It would be... Yeah, that's an interesting crossover. Like, Dark Souls-esque storytelling with George R. R. Martin. I, I don't know how that's going to work. Please welcome back Phil Spencer. Phil, stop poking the stage. From multinational studios to one-person passion projects, thousands of Xbox games are in development for you right now. Just today, we showed you 60 games. We are now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. Gaming for you means connecting all of these creators to all of you. Last fall, we announced our ambition to empower everyone, everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. We will do this in two ways, through Project X Cloud and through console streaming. Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. To experience the freedom to play right here at the show. And you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. Hmm. Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this October, you'll be able to use our hybrid gaming cloud to play your games wherever you go. Where you play is now entirely your choice. You decide. So let's talk about our next console. For us, the console is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only, gaming. So the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite Controller, the same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles, the same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live, this same team set out on a new mission to create the future of gaming for you. When we think about the future of gaming, 
It's not just PC. It's not just console. It's not just mobile. It's really all of the above. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. We don't want to build just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. More immersion, more exploration, more detail. So how do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer, and so like loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there in the fake elevator because you know that the game's <laughs> loading in the background. This is just an elevator ride forever. That's our goal with gaming, is that you don't have those pauses. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. At the heart of our play. next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth four GDDR6 times? to ensure that Jesus. we're getting the best performance possible. It's going to usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. 8K capability. Variable refresh rate. Next-gen ray tracing. It's real-time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SoC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back into the scene. So we can actually generate more life in that world and bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive console experience ever. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. We have hundreds of people across both our first party studios as well as our third party studios working on those next generation experiences today. It's an amazing commitment to content at Xbox Game Studios. There's 13 studios, seven in the last year. That's a big family. At 343, for us, it's always about more seamless worlds with the next generation. We can bring the world to life in a way we've never experienced Halo before. We're delivering four generations of content better than you've ever seen them before. This console is especially awesome for Game Pass members. With the faster load times, you're going to be able to experience all the games within just a snap of your fingers. We are giving gamers the option to connect across devices and across platforms in a way that we never were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is about the future of gaming. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your accessories, your console gaming experience with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet. Twenty twenty. I called it. It eats monsters for it. breakfast. <laughs> Announced this year. This is, this year. is Project Scarlet, the most powerful and highest performing console we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions, and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experiences begin at the very heart of the console, at the silicon level itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. Power you could see defined previous generations. Power and performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, when we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with the game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. There we go. 
Well, because humanity was and is worth saving, next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. All right, I've been looking forward to this. Tell Daddy how big you are. Are you so big? So big. <laughs> and can you sing? Good singing. How about I miss you? Miss you. And I love you. I love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? See you. Good then. Bye bye. Bye bye. UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? Okay. This is UNS. That is the old suit. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Armor shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to override. Okay. You can hear me in there. I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. Chief, I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. See there, big guy. You're not. Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. We lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I don't 
what's important here is. No, 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 not then. Not again. We need to run. No, we need a fight. Get ready. Ah, oh, fuck yes. I still don't know what the game actually is. <laughs> That game is super weird. I'm very excited for it, but I want more info about what's going on. I can't wait for it. This is a really strong show. I was just gonna say, like, I think it's gonna be really interesting where things go next. It sounds like they're not gonna teach directly with um, Stadia, since they, do, they can stream servers, but they pretty pointedly said that, you know, you can stream from the console as well. Hmm. All right, that's it. Cool. Well, we'll be back in a couple of hours. I think it's like two and a half hours before Bethesda. Um, yeah. And I'll be back then with, um, with Luke. And uh, we'll see how much garbage fire Bethesda is. It'll be fun. All right. See you all then. <laughs>